Okay. They're hoping that once you know the truth of the situation, that you're still going to say yes, that you're going to accept their apology and forgive them. You know, they're hoping to have a yes in this in this scenario here. We have be honest, right? You deserve so much better. So I feel like spirit is letting you in on some kind of secret that this person is keeping from you. Okay? Give me more messages for this person. What is this person not telling my beautiful collective? We have pregnant. There may be someone that's pregnant. Okay? There may be someone who's pregnant in the situation. Um, but I feel like this person needs to tell you the truth. They need to get something off of their chest. Okay? And they're expecting for you to accept their forgiveness. Okay? We have, I can't lose you again. I feel like this person is very fearful to lose you. They're very fearful of what needs to come out because they feel like they're going to lose you. They feel crazy without you. Okay? They, they feel like you make a difference in their life. Yeah, you've left a, per, a permanent imprint on me. You're that positive person in their life. You know, you're the one who's transforming the situation. Okay, but I feel like spirit is letting you know to set your boundaries. You know, accept only what you're able to accept. And you may need to release the energy that you know that you can't handle. Okay, but this person is manifesting a certain reality with you they are trying to create a scenario in your mind that includes them you know because they don't want to be without you they don't want to lose you because of whatever this truth is that's coming out and they feel like you know they're hoping for this yes they're hoping that you accept them because they need you they feel like they need you they're praying for forgiveness. Look at this. They're praying for forgiveness. I want you to be mine and mine only forever. You know, they're taking off this mask. So they're revealing something to you that, you know, they feel like they just can't hold on to any longer. Because they feel like if you find out the truth on your own, then it's done, it's, it's over, and you'll just walk away from them. So they feel like they need to come clean before you find out on your own, right? And we have, I'm in love with you, okay? I need, your, I need to feel your body next to me. You know, they, they don't want you to leave them. They don't want you to leave. They don't want to risk losing you, but like I said, I feel like this truth is going to be very unexpected. Expect the unexpected, right? We see that again. We had it's not what you expect and then expect the unexpected. So I feel like you have no idea what this person is about to tell you. And I feel like this, this is going to be very, very scary. I'm not going to allow my fear to get in the way of our love. So you may accept this person's forgiveness. I wasn't ready, ready for this connection. Right? You may accept this person's for, um, apology. You've changed me for the better. I'm not going to allow my fear to get in the way of our love. That's the second time that one's come out. Okay? So I feel like you are, you are really listening to this person. You're listening to what they have to say. You've changed me for the better. You know, maybe that's how you see this person. You feel like you know that you've made a change in them. Okay, let's get some more messages. Give me a message for this person. What does this person need to say to my beautiful collective? What does this person need to say? Tell me more, Spirit. Give me a message. What does this person need to say? 
this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't good. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. You know, so I, I feel like this person knows that whatever they need to tell you is going to lead to some kind of ending. Right? And I feel like they, they really need to come clean. And they have this fear of losing you because they know how good you are, collective. They know that you're a good person and that you've actually made them a better person. And they really love you a lot. They have a lot of love and care for you. But I feel like this person, you know, I'm not going to say that they may have cheated. But we did see that pregnant, pregnant card come out. So there may be someone who's pregnant, someone that you're not expecting. Okay, but I feel like this is a really big truth. We have obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time, stalk your socials, and hope I run into you when I'm out. Okay, so this person could be very jealous of you. They could be really obsessed with you. Um, but I feel like they're not done playing. They're not done playing the field. Okay, I feel like they... They may feel this way for more than one person. Okay, we have not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have time and energy for a relationship. Yeah, this person may work a lot of hours or they may actually have a family on the side. You know, um, they may be telling you something. We have I'm single at the bottom. I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. Okay? Um, but I feel like there's definitely some kind of very interesting energy that they're holding back from you. Let's go ahead and get a message from the tarot. What messages do we need to see for this person? What messages do we need to see for this person? messages do we need to see from this person? Okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, this person has a lot of burdens. I'm, I'm really getting with this Ten of Wands energy. This person has a lot of weaknesses. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This person was definitely a player. They were playing more than one person here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you want this person to change. You want this person to be a better person. You want this person to figure out this relationship because they don't want to lose your, your connection. They don't want to let you go. This person can be taking actions towards you. You could see this person very soon. I feel like you'll, you'll be receiving some kind of communication. With this Ten of Wands energy, it could be that they're trying to put their player times behind them. You know, this is some kind of completion. You know, I feel like their actions are done. You know, they're overwhelmed. Give me more, one more message. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. They, they're scared that you're going to put up these huge defenses and you're going to block them out of your life. You know? Um, but I feel like this person really wants to fight for this connection. They really see you as you and them against the world. They really do see you as a part of their future. They're really viewing you as being the one that they step out into the world with. Right? They're planning. They're thinking about things. They're also making certain decisions when it comes to you. 
And I feel like they're choosing you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person is choosing you. And I feel like they're kind of standing their ground when it comes to making this decision. So this is something that they're putting their player times behind them. And now they're, they've got this decision like set in stone. You know? So, hmm. So what will you do? What will you do, my beautiful collective? Let's go ahead and get... We're going to get a few oracle cards. See what we have for the collective. Okay, we have the here and now. So I'm really feeling like with this here and now energy, the number 32, this is change. You know, you're... You're in this present moment, but I feel like there's an ability to change your situation for the better, okay? But this is also living in the here and now and not living in, in the past, releasing that past energy because it's like changing the energy from the past to the present. Going to get one more card. Okay, we have flexible. Yeah, I feel like this person is asking, asking you to kind of bend in their direction. <laughs> They're kind of wanting you to um, make the choice of them. You know, I feel like this person is trying very hard to choose you. They're trying very hard to show you that they've changed. But now they want you to bend in their direction. One and nine, number 19, that's change. That's completion, right? It reduces to 10, which reduces to one. Okay, we have, this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. One more card. Okay, and we have finances and career. Finance issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I feel like this person is letting you know that their finances are kind of not where they want them, want them to be. It could be that you and this person are together and now they feel like you could be separating. So they feel like their finances are in jeopardy, right? Or your finances are in jeopardy as far as this connection goes. Okay. Let's go ahead and get your angel number. Okay. We have clarity. 1313. As the storm passes, the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against the dark sky. The divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available and all you have to do is ask. You have weathered the storm and now the sky is clearing. Okay, your affirmation, loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer I need. Okay, so definitely you are going to receive the answers that you need in order to see past your situation. Okay, Spirit is going to let you know exactly what you need to do in your situation. You just have to listen to that clarity, listen to that intuition. Okay, because I feel like your divine spirits are um, speaking to you during this time. So listen to what they have to say. Listen to those voices. Okay, so that's what I have for you, my, my lovely collective. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And until your next reading, many blessings, love and light.